Alrighty, so I am on a roll, not to toot my own horn, but I, horn, I am, but I am on a serious roll with figuring stuff out, and the stuff I'm presenting is 100% factual with backed up information. So what I'm about to present to you guys today is hard information about a new filing that Wonderland has filed. So right here on the screen, you can see as of November 2nd, 2023, Canada's Wonderland has filed a trademark under Class 43 Hotel and Hotel Restaurants. So on November 2nd, 2023, Canada's Wonderland themselves has filed a completely separate um, hotel. Uh, it even furthermore suggested on one of the pages that it would be called Wonderland, or that phrase was specifically trademarked, which was weird. So Wonder Space Land. So that might be the name of the hotel, but we'll 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 get to that later. Um, this is the old hotel I have on the screen. I'm starting to think that this is not what was just trademarked. Um, what was trademarked, in my opinion, might be a much larger project. I'm starting to think Cedar Fair scrapped that little hotel um, on Rutherford for a couple reasons. One, COVID. Two, I'm starting to think that with the success of Wonderland and its growing attendance, they might be aiming for something a lot larger. And Kingswood has been a rumor I have been hearing for two weeks now. It is a rumor that I do not like, but I like at the same time. So when I go around and I speak to people, Kingswood was brought to my attention about exactly, I think, last weekend. Um, and I kind of like shrugged it off because sometimes being amusement insiders, you learn not to take everything so seriously. People talk and people say things. So I shrugged that one off. Well, today, with this specific trademark filed, and this time it was filed by Wonderland themselves, and not the second party company that was joining forces to open that hotel with Canada's Wonderland, leads me to think that Cedar Fair might be trying to establish something like Cedar Point Shores, um, or hotel breakers at Canada's Wonderland in the Kingswood plot of land. This further makes so much more sense because Dreamscapes UCC group is on site doing our front gate. Why not do the new coaster and a hotel um, all at the same time? So it would make a lot of sense for Cedar Fair to get a bang out of their buck for them to just do the three recent projects coming up um, with Rutherford. And wow. These are really serious projects that Cedar Fair is working on at Canada's Wonderland. I've been talking about this on the podcast for a while now. So to see my coaster year predicted right, 2025, um, and uh, <laughs> the front gate reno, and now the hotel all coming to fruition, I am really excited. This means that the recent um, announcement of Six Flags and Cedar Fair joining forces is not slowing the expansion at Canada's Wonderland down at all, which is something I was actually forecasting and was leading to, honestly, some pretty serious, like, depression in me. Um, so I'm just really excited that, that this seems to not have slowed it down at all. Um, and they're moving full force with their plans at Wonderland. So I would expect a really large water park expansion sometime in 2027, um, as well as, you know, this beautiful front gate reno. Hopefully it ends up being the full front gate reno. Again, there's still a chance it could be a soft one, but fingers crossed with all this news um, and a hotel. And again, like I would love for Wonderland and Cedar Fair to go all out and build some sort of Cedar Point Shores with an indoor water park on Kingswood's plot of land. It's a really expensive project, but it would make sense to make money in the Toronto area with an indoor um, water park hotel uh, near Toronto. So I'm hoping Cedar Fair is aggressive and goes after this, but we'll have to see. Again, it could end up being the old hotel as well. So don't, don't get too excited like I am right now. I'm jumping the gun here. Um, but nonetheless, very good news. Hopefully you guys are as excited as I am about this announcement. Um, about this trademark. Again, Wonderland isn't going to file a trademark for no reason. Um, I think that this is a clear sign that they're going to be building a hotel soon. Again, with Dreamscapes, UCC group on site, I 100% expect something beautiful. So I'm, I'm hoping this is bigger than the Hyatt place that was originally um, planned. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.